been a long road for us. It's not been easy. Count one. Emotions running high tonight after the man accused of murdering St. Louis police officer Tamaris Bohannon is found guilty on all nine charges. That guilty verdict coming just three hours after jury deliberation. Our Melanie Johnson joins us now here in studio, bringing us the latest after the jury's quick decision. Melanie. Yeah, the family of the young St. Louis City Police officer waited four years to hear the word guilty. A statement of justice his father and prosecutors say was worth the wait for a hero who paid the ultimate sacrifice. Every day enduring the pain of a lost son. Moments after the guilty verdict, Al Bohannon seen showing a father's love for his murdered son. A final kiss in his memory at a memorial for fallen police officers that sits outside the courthouse. We, the jury, find the defendant guilty of murder in the first degree. After three hours of deliberation, a jury found Thomas Kenworthy guilty Thursday of killing 29-year-old St. Louis police officer Tamaris Bohannon. He was only on the force for three years before dying in the line of duty. You can't come in our city. You can't come and hurt the officers that we hired that are supposed to protect us and keep us safe. We won't allow it. Circuit Attorney Gabe Gore calling the verdict a win for the entire city. This verdict sends a clear message that those who commit violent crime in the city of St. Louis will be held accountable. A jury found Kinsworthy guilty on all nine counts, including first degree murder. Police say in August 2020, after a crime spree in Florida, Kinsworthy fled to St. Louis. According to court documents on August 29, 2020, he shot a homeless man before forcing a family out of their home in Tower Grove South and barricaded himself inside. We're told he started shooting at officers. The gunfire striking Bohannon killing him and injuring another officer. All the officers that are out there today, I want to thank you for putting that uniform on every day. And I want to thank you for supporting us here in this city, for defending us, keeping us safe. Bohannon's legacy lives on through his family, including his wife and three children. Kenworthy also found guilty of assaulting a police officer, burglary, and resisting arrest. And the circuit attorney's office said witnesses were very key in this case as he faces life without the possibility of parole. He will be sentenced in June. Melanie Johnson, First Alert 4. Melanie, thank you. SLMPD Chief Robert Tracy released a statement tonight saying in part, Today justice was served. His senseless murder is a somber reminder of the ultimate sacrifice Officer Bohannon made in service of the city of St. Louis. Please keep Officer Bohannon's family, friends, and fellow officers in your thoughts and prayers.